In this discussion, you can see how to create many to many field in XML file to create records. And we will see the real test case using 6,0 command. In case you missed previous discussion about how to add one to many relational field, please link is given in description. And right now we are working in this playlist Odoo data file part 6. We are working on this playlist and if you are following this playlist like Odoo version 13 or 14 development technical training then you don't need to refer any of this playlist. This is the main playlist. So I hope you clear about this all the playlist and if you want to see the topic wise playlist you can see like this way. But again like this is the main playlist like this playlist having all the discussions here let's back to the main topic like how can we add many to many field in xml file before that let me show you like where it is exists the many to many fields like for example in student profile you can see this hobbies like this hobbies we already created in csv file if you follow this discussions beginning of this data file then you aware like how can we loaded all these records using csv file so now the we are doing the same thing in xml side like how can we create a records in xml side like for example this student aid we want to add hobbies like this then we will just click to the specific hobbies and we are click to the save button right and then after you can see like uh, for this student 8 having this four hobbies so while you creating a new record from the xml side then how to add such records in backend side right so this is the main question and how to add those fields uh, those records inside the student profile so let's see how we will do i'm going to in python editor let me open odoo training custom add-ons then after here in data file let me open the student data and for example like the student underscore 5 like jethalal let me open the jethalal record okay this is the jethalal and you can see by default there is no any hobbies is selected so let's select the hobby first for that like we have to remember the field name like hobby underscore list and let me close this one as a single attribute closing statement like this way not this way like this is our closing statement and this is our starting statement and in between we have to add values but here we will use something different some different ways but let me open this hobby.csv file so you can see this is the IDs like we have to use as a reference right and uh, let's say for example for the Jethalal then uh, the hobby is gym like hobby underscore 3 so here like we have to use hobby underscore 3 but we cannot use same as the csv file for example if i will open this school profile uh sorry student profile and you can see here like uh, we have to in double quote we have to mention the id name right so this is something different way like we have to mention so we have to use as a eval okay and then after equal to and in double quote we have to use as a list then after we have to mention as a tuple and here tuple 
we have to mention as a six comma zero then after comma and here again we have to use as a list or as a tuple let's say tuple and here we have to mention the hobby specific ids and by the way this is many to many feed for the double check let's open the model the student model and uh, here you can see like hobby underscore list is many to many field for the hobby model and the hobby model having this is the new virtual created table and here it will store the student id and hobby id and it will fetch to the front end side okay don't worry about this one we already created many to many field how to create a many to many field and how to define this field and what is the purpose of this field you can see in the data type fields playlist odus fields playlist and let me go to again here and we have to use as a ref in comma in small brackets we have to use the hobby list like for example hobby underscore three hobby underscore three then after for example if you want to add multiple hobbies then we have to use like this ref means as a reference hobby underscore 17 for example we have to add four hobbies right now then hobby underscore four and uh, let's say ref hobby underscore one then after i will save the record and uh, going to in terminal and let me upgrade the module okay it's having an error let me stop this script okay for the temporary we will comment this one because it will having an issue and i already explained this issue why it will generate the error because of the sql constraint and you can see here this is the sql constraint uh, and let me uh, one more time upgrade the module and don't worry about this one like how to prevent this error we have a one more solution so bear with us and in upcoming sessions you can see like how to prevent such error from the upgrading the module all right so now the module is successfully upgraded without any error so in jet halal once i will refresh the page it will add automatically this for hobbies let me go to here and you can see this is the jet halal and you can see right now the without refresh you can see no any hobby selected but let me go to in list view and let me go to one more time into jet halal profile and you can see like we selected yoga gym then after hobby 14 and singing like this so like this way you can add many to many field in xml side and one more thing is if you compare with the csv file let me open this one so here we don't need to add here the ref things but here just we have to mention the ids that's it and in the colon we have to specify this colon underscore colon then after id that's it this is the main thing in csv file and for the xml side we have to mention like this way we have to mention always like this way and if you don't know about this 6 comma 0 uh, let me open the screen and here you can see like odoo provides like special commands and this is specially for the relational field but here odoo provides like the first colon having a different 
meaning right zero one two three and so on till the six like all these commands having a different purpose let's say for the first one zero comma zero it means you are creating a new record for the one to many field then after for example for the one comma id it will update the existing record then after for example if you want to remove the specific record from the database you can use two comma id then after like from the one to many field you want to remove the any specific line or specific record set but you don't want to completely remove from the database then you can use three comma id then after if you want to add the existing relational field into the specific one to many field that time you can use four comma id then after like if you want to remove completely one to many lines then you can use like five comma zero and once you will use five comma zero it will permanently delete from the database side from the specific table and right now we used six comma zero right to add the existing ids to the specific model so like this way you can use uh, based on your needs you can use this special commands for the relational fields only i hope you understood this one right like six comma zero so again like if you have any doubt regarding this many to many field please comment below and see you in next session